My coconut tree was attacked by the rhinoceros beetle. I thought it was going to die. Uh, and I had to do something about it before I lost it. So I checked up the internet and found out how to make a rhinoceros beetle trap. And uh, this is what I made. As you can see here, this is a simple dustbin around which I've wrapped burlap or sackcloth. I've cut three holes in it on three sides. Uh, the purpose of the burlap cloth is for the beetle to climb on so that they can climb on and get inside. Around the hole I've put some glue so that the burlap cloth sticks on it. So I've made this and I put a lid on it. Uh, let us open this and see what we've got. It's not been open for some time. Okay, it's a little difficult to do it with one hand. Okay, the suspense is good. Let's see what we have. Oh, we have a harvest here. We've got two beetles, not one. There we are. These are the rhinoceros beetles who've been destroying my tree. I'm quite happy that I've got them. As you see, the dustbin is just a normal thing. You can fill some soap water in it. Uh, so that the beetles die faster and this is the thing that attracts them a pheromone which you can buy at the government Krishi uh, Center or from farmers mr. Farmer at Purvarim or any other place green essentials, etc and that's that lasts for about four to six months and uh, Although it's over four months. I see it's still doing its job so that's my rhinoceros beetle trap and uh, I have to show you the coconut tree. As you can see, it's not very clear, but you can see new leaves have already started shooting out. You can see the uh, leaves have been eaten by the beetle, but now they've started growing again and I'm very happy the tree has been saved.